Welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to study about TE mode for parallel plate waveguide. Now, this is the structure for parallel plate waveguide in which there are two plates which are being parallel to each other. This is top plate and this is bottom plate. The width of this plate is equals to W and these plates are separated by the distance that is equals to D. In between these two plates, the dielectric material is being filled. The bottom plate is placed at y equals to 0 and the top plate is placed at y equals to d. So this is all about the basic introduction about parallel plate waveguide. Now let us have a look at TE mode. So TE mode stands for transverse electric mode. Means that all the electric fields are transverse to the direction of propagation of wave there will be no electric field in the z direction so let me write it for te mode the electric field component in z direction that is represented as E of Z is equal to 0 because it does not contain an electric field component in Z direction. Now let us have a look at some Helmholtz equation representation for TE mode. So from Helmholtz equation which is being represented as del 2 over del y square plus kc square in multiplication with magnetic field component in z direction is equal to 0 this is our equation number 1 this is the Helmholtz equation for TE mode now let us have a look at some boundary conditions which are associated with TE mode So according to the boundary conditions, the component of the electric field in x direction is always equal to 0 when the value of y is 0 that is at this position of the bottom plate and also at y equals to d the electric field component that is e x is also equal to 0. So these are the two boundary conditions. We will apply these boundary conditions on the general solution of this Helmholtz equation. Let me give it as equation number 2. So the solution for the Helmholtz equation is given as h of z x comma y that is being equal to a sine kc of y plus b cos kc of y this is equation number 3 so this is the solution for the Helmholtz equation and if we describe the solution of Helmholtz equation in terms of electric field then it can be written as in terms of electric field it will be equal to E of X minus J omega mu over KC A cos KC of Y minus B sine kc of y e to the power minus j beta z where this component that is e to the power minus j beta z shows the propagation of wave in the z direction this is our equation number fourth 
let us apply the boundary condition on this equation number 4 that we discussed so applying boundary conditions we get so at y equals to 0 we apply our first boundary condition since the value of e x is equals to minus j omega mu over k c a sin k c sorry a cos k c of y minus b sin k c of y e to the power minus j beta z and we know that according to the first boundary condition ex is equals to 0 at y equals to 0 so applying the value of ex equals to 0 here we get 0 equals to minus j omega mu over kc and in place of y we will put 0 here so a cos 0 minus b sin 0 e to the power minus j beta z now this term that is minus j omega mu over kc and e to the power minus j beta z will be 0 on taking it in LHS so the remaining term will be 0 equals to a cos 0 is nothing but 1 and sin 0 is 0 only so we will get a equals to 0 this is our equation number 5 now let us apply our second boundary condition at y equals to d only since the expression for e of x is minus j omega mu over kc a cos kc of y minus b sin kc of y e to the power minus j beta z on applying second boundary condition that is e x equals to 0 at y equals to d we get in place of e x we will write 0 equals to minus j omega mu over k c in place of y we will write d a cos k c d minus b sin k c of d e to the power minus j beta z now if we take this term and e to the power minus j beta z in LHS then it will become 0 only so 0 is equal to here we get that a value is 0 so this whole term will become 0 and it will be equal to b sin kc of d we can also write this term as 0 equals to sin kc of d on taking this b in LHS since we know that sin and pi is equals to 0 so on substituting sin and pi in place of 0 we get sin and pi equals to sin kc d so from this expression we know that the value of kc equals to n pi over d so this is the expression for cutoff wave number let me give it as equation number 6 now on the basis of the value of a and the value of kc we can know the solution for general equation so we can write the general equation hz of 
x and y here is equals to a value is 0 so this term will become 0 and on substituting the kc equals to n pi by d it become b cos n pi by d into y so this is the general solution for the Helmholtz equation equation number 7 so this is the equation for general solution now let us discuss about the solution for total magnetic field so the total magnetic field is given as h of x y and z which is being equals to hz of x comma y e to the power minus j beta z since we know the value of hz of x y is b cos n pi by d into y so on substituting the value the total magnetic field become e to the power minus j beta z where the beta value is nothing but under the root k square minus kc square so this is all about the total magnetic field now this te mode also have some transverse component to the direction of propagation of wave so the transverse component is given as e of x where e of x is equal to g omega mu over kc bn sin n pi by d into y e to the power minus j beta z there is another component that is magnetic field in y direction which is being equals to j beta over kc bn sin n pi by over d into e to the power minus j beta z fourth third component is e y equals to zero and the fourth component is h is equals to zero so this is all about the transverse component now let us have a look at some parameters that are associated with wave propagation in te mode so the first parameter is cutoff frequency the cutoff frequency is represented by fc and it is the frequency below which te mode wave will not propagate and the expression for cutoff frequency is given as omega over 2 pi if we write the values in terms of the cutoff wave number then it can also be represented as vp multiplied with kc over 2 pi since we know the value of vp that is phase velocity is nothing but 1 over under the root mu epsilon and the value of kc that we calculated is equal to n pi by d and this 1 by 2 pi is as it is so the value of cutoff frequency that is fc is nothing but equals to n over 2d under the root mu epsilon so this is the cutoff frequency now let us discuss the second parameter that is wave impedance the wave impedance is represented by ztm 
which is being equals to ex over hy this is a tm in terms of phase constant and the permeability can be given as omega mu over beta discussing about the third parameter that is phase velocity now the phase velocity is represented by vp which is being equals to omega over beta only so this is all about the te mode for the parallel plate wave guide and its propagation if you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you